Hey guys, welcome back, Modi101 here, and we are back in Full Craft 3, Wild West Edition. And in between episodes, I have done a little bit of work. So, as you can see, I put in the sidewalks just, just to kind of get a reference point, just kind of see. Started putting in our grass path as our street, which I like. As you guys can see here, we got some tall mystical blue flowers found those that was your guys suggestion instead of lapis i did find a desert uh so i got some cactus you guys can see maybe uh it's a ways out here where is it at i ran around a lot well a lot of this was with you guys where is it at my map got funky here for a while right there found a mesa there's a desert right there. So I got some of that. Got a big tree farm going. And, uh, but I did run around. I found some blue flowers. I found two green and a bunch of red. Because you guys pointed out, I can use that for dye. With bone meal. <clears throat> and then with bone meal, I did, I did get one bone from fighting a skeleton. And, uh, I don't know why I'm all jittery. This is annoying. I'm not getting frame drops. Just jittery. Might have to give more RAM to this. Anyways, but the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the sheep just poop out bone meal. Let's see if there's any over here. So there's a few right there on our part of the land, and then right across the water here, you can see there's a bunch. I don't think, oh, see, there we go, right there. Oh, this guy's a, I also think it was a unicorn like me. So as you can see, they just kind of poop it out. Uh, I've never seen that before. I don't know what that's from or why it does that, but it's a thing. So I've just been coming over here. They all seem to kind of poop it around the same time, as you can see. So we've got 22 bone meal. And then these guys will do a little. I, I gathered the stuff these guys dropped right before we started recording. So we got some bone meal. We got some different colors. We got all that fun. All right. So let's. Uh, Let's go ahead. I did do a little bit of mining, uh, just because I want to get uh, just a dash of iron. Because so I want to make shears, because I'm going to need those. I want to make an iron pickaxe, and I want to make an iron shovel. And I was able to get, I think, seven iron, which I just smelted up normally. It's right there. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and do this and get ourselves our shears. And then, just in case anybody doesn't know how to do this, I will show you. So you can see we got tall, mystical blue flowers. Now one of these gives us two petals. But these bad boys give us four apiece. All right, so there's eight. So all we got to do is we just plant these down, and you can kind of see little sparkles right there, right? And uh, you take the bone meal, and you bone meal it once, and they're back up. So that'll be a a good source of uh, dye. Let's go ahead and take these guys. We're going to break these guys down and we're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to bone meal these four up. There we go. And now we get ourselves 16. All right, so let's just quickly, just so that we have one of each, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, are those both green? Oh, I thought I'd put down a blue. Uh, let's sleep real quick, and then we're going to make our probably the most important thing in this uh, for this pack is going to be the deco table. All right, so let's go ahead and get a couple of these guys made up. All right, we got a decent amount. I just want to make sure I have at least one of each so I can come back to this. All right, there we go. All right, so to change these into dies, we hit you on here. And we're going to kind of get past all of these silly, silly wands. And right there. We're going to need a pedestal and mortar. Okay? A pestle and mortar to get ourselves the floral red powder, which just acts like a die. So all this is is a stick, piece of wood, and a bowl. So that should be pretty darn easy. So let's go ahead and get in here. Let's grab ourselves a little bit of wood. Let's go ahead and make ourselves up a bowl. I'm gonna put that there. We already have a stick on us. That's handy. And oh, I'll put it in the wrong place. 
We have that. Now we just stick this with these. Boom. Throw these in there as well. And lastly, throw these in there as well. Perfect. All right, so to make the deco table, we are going to need a craft table and we are going to need one block of clay. But we are definitely going to need more clay than that. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a couple of things here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a shovel. Perfect. And let's go ahead and just make ourselves an iron pickaxe. We got one ingot left. We can make another shovel or something like that. All right, let's uh, let's go see if we can get ourselves just a dash of clay. Uh, we're gonna need clay not only for the making of the deco bench, but it runs off of clay. So let's kind of see what we got down here in the water near our home. This might be a little bit deep of water to really find good amounts of clay. We might actually have to go over to the river over there by where the sheep were. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I kind of filled in the land a little bit, took care of some of the holes. Uh, there was a couple water things, took out the uh, the plants that were here and whatnot. And I actually did that by hand. I just punched the plants away because I don't have a bucket yet. But we'll get more iron here soon. All right, this is still probably going to be pretty deep. Let's get a little bit over here, like I said, by the river. I think I'm seeing some right down there. Is that clay? Let's find out. And it is perfect. All right. Let's go ahead. We don't have a bag. Okay. Let's get as much as we can here real quick. Make sure that we uh, keep that oxygen coming in. Vitally important. The breathing. I mean, if I stay down here long enough, I mean, there's a very slim chance that I, I'll grow gills, but I really don't think that's... That's more of a private matter. That's, I don't think that's really something... You know, I like you guys and all, but, you know, growing gills is kind of like a me thing. Not an us thing. So, I mean, I hope you guys understand. I'm not trying to keep anything from you. It's just when it comes to gill growth, I like to be... There's privacy. There's privacy is what I'm trying to get at, guys. I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about here. Alright, so I got a stack in almost a half. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. Actually, there's quite a bit right here. This will be good. Alright, so we can get ourselves up to a, a couple of stacks would be very helpful. Now, we may have to try and find a more reliable uh, form of bone meal, uh, at least in the way of getting the sheep into a pen so that it's all kind of in one place, uh, if we are going to go with the mystical flowers as our dye, because we're going to need a lot of it. All right, so this area still isn't filled in over here. I'm not worrying about back here until uh, the town expands and we're going to need more space. All right, so let's go ahead and head back home. Let's go ahead and make our deco bench and get our, our first sets of our coloring in there. And kind of see where we can uh, just kind of take a look through the mod a little bit and see what's been added. I don't know if I've played with it much since 112 started, so... All right, so we should have everything. Go ahead and click here, and there we go. There is our deco bench. We'll set this bad boy up like right, right, right here in the window. That'll be nice. All right, so we put in our clay, pop it down. And as you can see, we've got clay right in there. We have so little that it barely registers. You can see a little bit better there. All right, there's that. We'll put in our green. A little bit of green right there. Put in our red. You see things start to unlock, and we'll put in our blue. And now everything unlocks. So, let's take a look. So, we got art. So, there has been stuff added, uh, which is, you know, some of the stuff may have already been there. Like, the guitar amp's kind of cool. The mic stand. I don't know how I feel about just on an on a, uh, amp and an acoustic guitar. But, you know, whatever. Um, but you can see we have... Kind of an old-timey upright piano. I think that's going to be pretty cool. We're going to be able to use that. Some bathroom stuff. Pretty modern. we got a wooden wash tub. That'll definitely be pretty cool. Uh, I'm kind of just looking for the old... Even the toilet's a little old-timey with the, the, the higher water tower. Um, obviously some beds. 
dressers, nightstands, some stuff along that. Closets, which is kind of cool. Bunk beds, that's kind of neat. Bat bunk house, laundry basket, wall photos, that's neat. All right. Miscellaneous, we, this is where all those new awnings came in. A park bench, that could probably fit with us. We've got different signs, don't really need those. Cat tower, metal detector, x-ray machine, that's kind of cool. I like that stuff. Uh, sleeping bags, small sitting log, large sitting log. I think those would be kind of nice if we make a couple camps outside of town. <coughs> um, dungeon based stuff, we can definitely use. Uh, we got ourselves the stocks, that would be, I guess, something that would be around here. Guillotine if you want to go super old school, you know. There we go, that's, that's for hanging people. We're going to have to make one of those. Uh, different doors. These doors always acted kind of weird to me, so we'll we'll see how they go. Uh, some different foods, decorative foods, uh, holiday stuff. Why can I not make? Apparently, I can make the Christmas tree. Is what we have. Um, not a whole lot of stuff. We'll probably be using here. Grave, yeah, gravestones definitely. We're gonna have to make a graveyard. Uh, here's all the kitchen stuff. So we got some buckets of water, some buckets of milk. I'm trying to see if there's anything real new and mind-blowing in here that I haven't seen. Some of these tables are new. Okay, that's kind of cool. Coffee grinder. That's kind of neat. Old stove. That's going to be handy. I like that. Cool. We are getting some old-timey stuff here. Lighting. All right, so this is kind of cool because we can get some chandeliers. Uh, that would be used good in the um, tavern. Uh, let's see. What's that? There should be some lamp posts. Maybe those are in the outside part. Candle hold. See, there's some old, old style candle holders, which would be kind of cool. All right, let's see. Living room. Not a lot of this stuff we're probably going to be able to use. Like, we got a spinning wheel, grandfather clock, cuckoo clock, coat rack. A lot of those things we can, you know, the, the fireplace. I don't know how many couches we're going to need. Uh, wooden mantles is going to be nice. Uh, I'm sure there's some tables and chairs that we can get into. Maybe even some of these bookcases. I mean, that's any bookcases. Log chair. That's kind of cool. Log sofa. Okay, maybe we can get some some stuff in here. This is going to be really cool for a lot of the markets. Uh, ATM, modern cash register, but a barber chair. Because a lot of you guys have talked about a barber place. Um, frames dispenser, weird. Sushi, box of donuts, desert case, clothes rack. Okay, it's different clothes racks. That's interesting. Okay. All right, office, probably going to be mostly modern stuff. Don't know if we're really going to need. Maybe the envelopes. There you go, an inkwell. That's definitely going to be something. Uh, all the dolls, church. We're going to have to build a church, obviously. These people need Jesus. So Some of these things, world globe, telescope. Some of this stuff we can definitely use. Not much of the tech stuff, but... This stuff, the potions, will be kind of cool for, like, what is it, apothecary, I think it's called. All right. Of course, the signs we can definitely use. Uh, sports. I don't know about the anchors, but they did add some pretty cool weight bench stuff. That's neat. That's pretty cool. Mini football. Nice. All right. Uh, stairs. This we're going to get a lot of use of. We've got a safe for the bank. we got crates. we got barrels. We've got kegs. Uh, crates. The, these type of crates. Pretty nice. Technology. Oh, that's kind of cool. An arcade cabinet. God, I want to do a modern build, too, sometime. What's that? Old CRT TV. There's actually some pretty neat stuff they put in here. Radiator? Maybe. Oh, I need to sleep. I need to sleep. All right, we're on technology. Let's sleep. I don't want to get murdered. I know we're just looking through the stuff, but I'm, I'm kind of excited for it. All right, let's get back in here. Let's go back this way. Maybe let's go backwards. All right, so yeah, we're in technology. We got computers, all kinds of stuff we don't need. 
Toys, I don't know, they could be, you know, for like little kids' rooms and stuff. It's not bad. Uh, trophies, yeah, you know. Definitely, you know, put a moose on the wall, put a bear on the wall. A lot of this stuff, yard stuff, we can use. Uh, let's see, what are these? Umbrellas. Uh, we got swings. We've got water pumps. We've got uh, trough hitching posts. That's going to be really, really cool. Uh, these, like, log benches, some wheelbarrows, piles of hay. Um, let's see. What else are we looking at here? I mean, these older, these other park benches, birdhouses, these tanning racks. Definitely is going to be something we can use. Sharpening stone. Now, I'm kind of curious where there were actually, let's see, lighting. Maybe I missed it. These are kind of cool candle wall mounts. I'm looking for candle holder oh, lampposts. There we go. This is something I'm, I'm kind of excited for. All right, so oh, I'm so excited I threw it on the ground. All right, so we come out here and put it down like that. That's going to look good because they're, they're still candles. They're not electricity. So that will kind of fit in with that. All right, it was one other thing that I didn't notice, but I wasn't paying close attention that I think is going to be a, a, a real doors and frames. Let's see. Oh, is that the insulin doors? So, no, no, no. Am I spelling it wrong? I thought they had saloon doors. Could have swore there were saloon doors. Maybe they took them out. Maybe they were just in the old version. Uh, right there, yeah. Oh, this is part of Malice's doors. Okay, cool. That's just as cool. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We have them. That's awesome. All right, so I'm excited. I'm actually really excited. I, like I said, I don't do a lot of building stuff, but... All right, so we're going to mix it up. We're not going to make the same builds in the same way that we did last time. Uh, we only have... We're pretty much at the end of this episode. But um, I want to make the saloon first. And it's going to have to be pretty big. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Is that going to be deep enough for the bar and everything else? I don't want to make it too big. 16, 17. Okay. We'll go 17. And then we're going to go maybe 19 this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right. Let's just take a little gander at this. I hear you, Moo Cow. I hear you. I don't care. All right. Is that right? Okay. I just want to box this out before we go. Let's see if this is going to be big enough. I want this to be bigger than the one we made in the last pack. Uh, because now we actually have room for tables and stuff like that. Um, God, that still might be a little small. We may have to come out two more. Like, like here, maybe. This might be the way to go. Alright, let's keep doing this. Alright, we'll have to get more. Yeah, I want I, basically the saloon. I want it to be kind of like the, the center of town. We are gonna have to get a small farm going in the next episode. Not necessarily the farm, but just a farm to kind of get some food uh, production going. So, all right, guys. Wait. Well, hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you guys are excited. Remember any of your suggestions. I read. I do read every single comment. I don't answer all of them because I don't have that kind of time. But. I, I swear to you guys, there has not been a single comment over the last four years that I have not at least read. Do I remember them all? Oh, God, no. But I read them. And I think I think I should get points for that. So, But, yeah, any suggestions, any of that stuff, kind of put down there. Um, but, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Any questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. 
Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, um, we would love for you guys to come hang out. Myself and the squad stream every single weekend over on Twitch, multiple times. Um, I stream at uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time on Fridays, 11 a.m. Pacific time, and 7 p.m. Pacific time on Saturdays, and then 11 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday, so uh, Fridays and Saturdays, streaming with the squad. Fridays, we kind of play usually Minecraft. Last week, we played Raft, six of us, me, Snoop, Haley, and, and mind you, this is, when I say last week, this video, it's as of the recording this video. Uh, we played Raft, we had a lot of fun, but a lot of time we play Minecraft. Saturdays, we do the Patreon pack, we'll get to that in a second, um, for both streams, and then Sundays, Heather and I play non-Minecraft games, and uh, kookiness ensues, so love for you guys to come out, hang out, have fun, have a laugh, uh, head on over to twitch.tv slash modi101, you can do it right now, um, that way you guys can get a, uh, hit that follow before you forget, and then turn on notifications, that way you get notified whenever uh, we go live. <laughs> you can also follow me over on Twitter because I tweet out before we go live and everything every week, every stream as well. So, um, and if you guys want to come hang out on our server that we stream on every Saturday, uh, the server's open twenty four seven unless we break it. But uh, you guys can come play on there, get to meet all the other patrons, hang out, get to meet the squad, have a lot of fun, chit chat in our Discord. That's another option. Go check that out. That seems. We enjoy it. It seems that uh, the Patreons enjoy it, too. So go check that out. And, uh, yeah, so it helps support what we do. So go check out the Twitch. Go check out the Twitter. Go, just go check out the links down below. I put them in every video. You can just go look at them. Anyways, guys, until the next episode, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.